Crypto Lightsaber we're back with another video and I thought I'd bring you guys an update um, for those of you that have been following the channel. Um, if you're not following the channel, do me a favour and subscribe because a lot of you are not actually subscribed. You tune into the videos, you watch the videos, but you don't actually subscribe. It actually helps the channel. So if you do subscribe, all you have to do is just click a little button, tick the little bell for notifications. And there's things like this, like Cody. I called out Cody just yesterday in yesterday's video. In fact, if we go and check out yesterday's video, I called this token out. And guys, there's, there's been a few like this that I've actually called out. So I'm not um, sure if people are aware of that. But, you know, we're winning while, while, while everything else is going down. We're in the coins that are going up. So we're doing extremely well. Okay, guys. Um, if we go to the content, you see just yesterday, I did a video on Cody. And we were also talking about Rex in that, which we're also going to talk about Rex in, uh, in this video as well. Because uh, Cody... Is definitely one that I'm, I'm I'm expecting some some major gains from here. All right, guys, even like a 10, 20x in this cycle won't be out of the question for me. On Cody, in my opinion. All right, guys, remember none of this is financial advice. I'm not making an actual price prediction, but you know I am holding this for some long-term gains or mid-term gains potentially. And this will definitely be a coin that you need to accumulate, not financial advice, in the next bear market as well. But even in this cycle alone, I mean, we could see heights there. It, it may never even come back down here again, for we know. And because Cody is very super low in market cap. Okay, guys. So if you look at the chart, where were we when I did the video? Yesterday, the Cody chart was, it was about 43 cents. Okay, guys. But I've been talking about Cody since all the way down here, about 13 cents. All right, guys. And since then, I mean, in yesterday's video, we said that uh, it looked like there was a, uh, a big cup and handle, uh, an inverse head and shoulders, and a big cup and handle. And obviously, if we go back to the chart, you see we have got a breakout of that cup and handle. In fact, if we do a measured move from 43 cents from yesterday's video, Cody is actually up 50% or seen a peak about 52%. So if you would have got in that, you would have been up about 52% already on Cody. All right, guys, and of course, I still think there's a long way to go. We're on the one-day one chart at the moment, okay? Even if we go down the time frames, everything looks super bullish. Uh, you might look at the RSI and think, you know what? Look how high that is, okay? It's in the overbought territory. That is correct, okay, guys? But it doesn't really mean anything at this stage of the bull run, in my opinion. It just means that we could get a pullback. In fact, the last time the RSI got a little bit overextended, we got a little bit of a pullback. And what did you see? You saw more gains. Okay, it's gone higher again. And uh, if we go to the one-day chart, you'll see that the, the RSI hasn't actually overextended yet. It's not in overbought yet, although it is approaching that level at the moment. But if you look at the last time it came into the overbought territory, it was around this stage right here. And then what happened is it just kept going up. Cody just kept going up, even though it was overbought. It hung around in this level for approximately 16 days. Okay, so it can be overbought for about two weeks before we even see a top. And that's just potentially. Okay, guys, I'm not saying it has to happen that way. Um, and of course, it, it does depend on what Bitcoin does as well. And most of the time, in this case, Bitcoin has been going down and now going sideways while Cody has been making new highs. So I'm super bullish on this token. Make sure you uh, do your own research before you invest in any token or anything like that. But it's about making gains while everything else is falling. We still want to be making those gains. Another way we can make those gains is by the passive incomes, okay? So we're going to look at Rex. We're going to look at BNB Miner and the new Hex Miner, which a lot of you haven't picked up on yet on the Matic network, okay? So... Going back to Rex, okay, guys, just a quick update on Rex. Um, even a friend actually asked for uh, my advice on how to get into Rex today, so he bought some Rex today. And this is just increasingly becoming more popular. This, to me, is like the new Hex, all right, guys? The way it's built out, the interface, uh, the 5,555 days staking, and, and, and less than that, you don't have to go for 5,555 days. But that's where you max, max out your interest. Um, if you see the interest that I'm getting on this stake alone, is about 14% now. It's down from 15% from when I got in on the 13th of September, okay? But I put 352,161 Rex into this stake, 
and you can see I'm already up 572,097 reps which is 162% okay guys and obviously if I was to scrape that right now it shows you that it's only been 12 days so I can scrape 12 days I can scrape that 572,000 and I can restate that and basically compound it manually okay guys and then i'll be getting approximately 13 14 percent on that a day rather than 13 14 percent on 352,000 ricks a day so i mean that's obviously my strategy you guys can see that i have been scraping from these stakes i've been using all these smaller stakes to compound up and make bigger stakes okay guys so what i will do when this hits a million or close to a million i will scrape all of my stakes once again and i will put on one massive stake for about a million wrecks so i can earn between 10 and 14 percent a day on that stake and obviously you know you can do the math okay a million wrecks 40 percent is about 140,000 wrecks a day um if you work out the price of wrecks we go to nomics.com let's just see how much 140,000 wrecks per day would be go to wrecks and um, obviously, if you've been following the channel, you know a little bit more about Rex. I do recommend you go check back on my previous videos about Rex. So if we do 140,000, that will be $986 a day. And that's because the price of Rex has actually fallen a little bit since last night. So you're actually getting Rex at a better price, even if you buy it in the auctions at the moment. And then obviously, when that recovers, which I believe it will, um, we're on the one hour chart as well. So let's just uh, switch to the one day. As you can see, that dip is being bought up. So it just shows the demand for Rex. Okay, guys, so I believe that this has definitely got some long-term potential. It's super early. Market cap super low. The price is super low. Uh, you know, not financial advice, but get your hands on some Rex. As you can see, the chart is very new. But look at the increase in volume, guys. Okay, that is a bullish sign for long-term potential. The demand is increasing for this token. All right, guys. So a million Rex, big stake on that. Along with my T-Rex and my M-Rex, of course, make sure you do your own research to understand how I'm getting that percentage because I'm not doing a full overview in this video, but I have done many full overviews in previous videos and I've learned more about Rex as time has gone on and I've done continuous updates on that and I will continue to do updates on this. Um, yeah, million Rex, about a grand a day, $1,000. Alright guys, so I will leave the link in the description for this. Of course, when you go in on the auction, you actually get an extra 10% for using my link in the description. It also qualifies you for the big paydays where you get um, your full amount of investment back in BNB um, when you hit one of those big paydays. Alright guys, so the link will be in the description for this. Do your own research and all that sort of stuff, okay? Uh, the other one, I want to update on BNB Miner because this one's paying out about 1,095% APR. A year um, even just from yesterday it's gone from about 5,000 BNB in a contract to 5,644 BNB in a contract okay guys so that is increasing this has already been around for about seven months so I mean this one seems to be the most popular one and people really uh, people are really loving this platform um, as you can see my miners have increased I've gone for about from about 400,000 to 607,000 so I am adding BNB to this as well I said I wasn't going to add any more to it but I'm thinking it's a no-brainer at this stage with the popularity that it's getting as well it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon 3% a day on this works at 1,095% APR for the year so um, the link will be in the description for this as well um, I'm really loving this platform I'll be honest with you I wish I would have put more in to start with but you know it is what it is at the end of the day i've got several different strategies over several different platforms i have to kind of maintain discipline and stick to my strategy in fact i've already broken discipline because i've added more to this and i do intend to add more to it and compound up my miners as well which is what i said i wasn't going to do but at this stage um the decision is based on the popularity the ever-growing popularity of the project okay guys so you see a lot more videos on this uh, there's a lot more people talking about it already are you going to see a lot more BNB coming into this platform, in my opinion? And um, yeah, I mean, you got to follow the trend, guys. You got to double down on your winners. That's 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 one of the best strategies I can give you in crypto. You know, come out of your losers and double down on your winners. Okay. So the next one I want to talk about is the the uh, hex miner. Okay. So it's it's similar to BNB miner. Okay. Um, and when you look at the interfaces for these, they're not, they're very basic, okay, guys, but if you've done any mining, you know that a lot of these mining programs or general mining programs where you mine on a computer and stuff is basic, okay, it looks very old school. 
So these are quite fitting interfaces for this type of platform. If you go to the crypto miner dot finance, which which is doing your hex on the and, and by the way, this is on the Matic Polygon network. OK, guys, so you need to bridge over to there to use this, uh, but they will be updating this interface. OK, guys, so they say here the web UI is also important. We are taking help from the native English folks to help improve the content, the web UI network. So this will be updated and I believe this is going to be updated as well, according to um, some of the information I got from another YouTuber on this and another YouTuber on this who's actually um, um, in contact with the people that created this. And which gives me a little bit of confidence in this platform. This one's paying out hex. Obviously, people are getting super bullish on hex. All right, guys. Um, I shouldn't even say people are getting super, but people have been super bullish on hex. In fact, there is a trailer that you might want to watch for the new hex documentary. Actually, if we can find that on here, uh, interesting trailer on hex. So we've got a hex trailer, hex documentary trailer, which is this one here, the highest of stakes. All right, guys. There's a cool. Um, trailer for the documentary with Richard Hart and you know some people that have made money on Hex and you know it, 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 I don't know someone says something about it being on Netflix soon um, which I doubt it but um, you know hey what do I know at the end of the day but it'll be somewhere on TV I would assume or somewhere on YouTube uh, when it does come out okay guys but that's that's something you might want to go and take a look at but Hex is super bullish um, obviously it has been outperforming most of the markets i'm not sure why it's not showing up on coin market cap like it should be because it's obviously you know one of the most top performing assets in the whole space throughout this this, this whole market it's about it says here the market cap is 270 billion last time i checked on coin market cap it says about 80 billion um but regardless of wherever the market cap is 270 or 80 billion it should be number three on coin market cap, but it's not for some reason. Okay, guys, so 81 billion on coin market cap is not even ranked for some reason. Okay, so obviously coin market cap is owned by CZ Binance. Um, and um, I'm not sure why, you know, the uh, tokenomics are not, um, uh, why they're not ranking it, to be honest, because we've got Cardano at third at 75 billion. <laughs> Uh, but hex is actually um, higher than that according to the tokenomics on there so what's going on i believe it did glitch on here about a week or so ago and then it came back off so i'm not sure what beef they've got with richard hart or whatever's going on there but you know hex is obviously you know underrated by a lot of people for some reason uh, that's their agenda at the end of the day i like hex i think it's a great cryptocurrency um, i can't wait to participate in the pulse hex because i missed Hex early, I'm not sure what I was doing at the time. I heard about it and I slept on it to my regret. Um, but I did make a sacrifice for Pulse Chain because I didn't want to miss the boat this time around. So uh, Pulse Chain should hopefully launch in October. If you don't know what Pulse Chain is, because I was speaking to a friend, he's heard of Hex, he's heard of a few things. He didn't actually know about Pulse Chain, but Pulse Chain is basically a fork of uh, uh, Ethereum created by Richard Hart, who created Hex. And um, it's going to be the biggest airdrop in history. Uh, people are actually going to get airdropped hex if they're holding uh, uh, Ethereum based ERC20 tokens in their in their MetaMask wallets or their offline wallets or whatever. And um, that is definitely something that's coming. And I've definitely not slept on it. I don't speak about everything that I do uh, because I, I don't really have time. OK, guys, so I'll go with what's trending. I'll go with what you guys like. I look at the feedback. I listen to what you guys say sometimes. And I, I talk about those things. And I see the community response to it and I follow that trend. OK, guys, so right now, Hex, if you want to make more Hex from your Hex, you can actually do it here. Now, this one's not on the Ethereum network. Obviously, it's on the Matic network. Um, so, you know, you can get 40 percent stake in your Hex on the Hex platform, um, Hex.com. Uh, but you can also, you know, send some over here. Or, or, you know, buy some on the Matic network. If you're looking to buy more Hex, you can put it into this miner, which is super early as well. And you can get 3% a day, which works out about 1,000 APR per year. So nothing different from BNB miner. But for those that are bullish on the Hex, you can do that on the Matic network. It's cheap fees. It's a little bit slower than Binance, Avalanche. It's a little bit slower than all those networks. But 
three percent a day okay guys take your pick all right guys so i just wanted to give you a quick update on those miners quick update on coty i do believe that this is going to perform really well in the bull run i'm not selling my coty i'm holding it and um yeah guys i want to leave you all the links in the description do me a favor and subscribe to the channel tick the little bell for notifications like and comment as well and i'll see you guys in the next video